Coming up. And it really helps if you visualize those muscles stretching. Don't just like slouch down into the ground, really lengthening it. Morgan shares some upper body stretches to help relieve the tension on your sides and back. Healthy food can taste great, be good for you, and be easy to choose at this fast casual healthy restaurant. Then we're going up around the bend into a Japanese garden and museum that's even larger than some of those found in Japan. Plus, specialty chairs for those who need mobility, sit to squat tips for seniors, and the top five foods you need to add to your diet according to Harvard, and more today on SoFlo Health. Hello and welcome to SoFlow Health. I'm Hunter Frankie, and today we have the opportunity to spend the day at Murakami Museum and Japanese Gardens up here in Del Rey, just with a hop, skip, and a jump away from where we normally are in the Miami Fort Lauderdale area. And we're here today because we have the opportunity to spend the day with the gardens all by ourselves. And we want to show you that living here in South Florida, you don't have to travel too far to see some pretty unique experiences. Now, first we're going to head over and meet with Tamara. So let's go meet her. This is Tamara, and we are now socially distanced. We are outside, it's a beautiful day. We're gonna take our masks off for this. Where are we, and what makes this place so special? We are at the Morikami Museum and Japanese Gardens, and it's truly one of the most unique institutions in this country. It is the only Japanese garden combined with a collecting museum in the U.S. Wow. We've been open since 1977, first with a small initial museum building in the 2000s, early 2000s, the gardens were built. Mm -hmm. We uh, have up to a quarter million people visit every year. Wow. What do people have to look forward to when they come here? They get to experience something truly unique even in the world and that's 17 acres of Japanese gardens that spans an interpretive history of about a thousand years. Even in Japan there aren't gardens of this size. And we also have an exhibition space where we show um, beautiful uh, stories and exhibitions of work by Japanese Americans as well as Japanese nationals. And what else happens here at the gardens? The Museum and Gardens has a regular repertoire of educational programming, lectures, musical events, uh, outdoor festivals. Many things have been um, suspended or altered mm -hmm. during the pandemic, but we'll resume all of those activities that are, are safe as soon as we possibly can. Now, there's something else that you wanted to talk to us about. In fact, show us. Yeah, I'd love for you to see the Yamato Khan. It's our original museum building, and it's right over here. Let's go take a look. Okay. When George Morikami donated 200 acres to Palm Beach County, he was only interested in a park where people could gather and families could hang out. But he never anticipated what would come. And the first structure that was built on that 200 acres is behind us right here. This is the Yamato Khan, and it's named after the Yamato Colony, which is an old term for Japan. And that was the name given to the colony when it was established in 1905, and that name stuck. So our first museum building became Yamato Khan, and it's built based on a traditional Japanese architectural style. It was the start of the Morikami Museum, and we had a very small collection of items at that time and would have exhibitions in there until 1993 when the main museum was built and we moved the exhibition space there. And then in 2001, the gardens designed by Hoichi Kurisu were built all around us on 17 acres and then enveloped the Yamato Khan. So the Yamato Khan, the original building, sits in the center of the gardens at this point in time. 
Thanks to Mara for giving us an opening tour. There's still so much more to see here at Murakami Japanese Museum and Gardens, like these bonsai trees around me. This one's from 1985, and many of these are from 1970s and even older. Well, stick around, but first, watch this. We're back with our good friends at DMR. This is Angel. We're nice and socially distant. We're gonna take our masks off for this interview. So Angel, tell us about DMR for those that are new. DMR is a family owned and operated business that specializes in providing custom wheelchairs for severely disabled individuals with neurological diagnoses. So what does that include? Spinal cord injury, CP, uh, Parkinson's, stroke, things of that nature. And how are these chairs helping those people? These are what they call Group 3 custom wheelchairs. Uh, they have seat functions that a normal consumer power chair would not have, such as tilt, recline, and power legs. And what is the benefit to coming to DMR? Because we're family owned, uh, it's a smaller company, we, you're going to get much more personalized service. I'm the owner and the assistive technology professional, which is a requirement by Medicare, so you're going to be dealing directly with me. I'll be the one that's going to evaluate you, uh, come out to your home, or meet you at the doctor's office and do the full evaluation with your clinical team. Right. And then you have chosen this chair to kind of show us today. What is special about this? Well, this is this is a Group 3 custom power wheelchair. It has the most basic and most necessary feature, which is what we call tilt, uh, which is when the seat to back angles stay the same, but the entire seating system tilts back. And that's designed to take pressure off your bottom, the ischial tuberosities, and reduce the likelihood of pressure sores or ulcers, uh, right. which is leading cause of death uh, among people with spinal cord injury. So this has tilt and then it also has recline so that's very useful and necessary if a, an attendant, a nurse, a relative was changing the diaper on, on a patient, cathing a patient mm -hmm. or accessing a g-tube or suctioning a trach, anything like that, this would right. be the ideal position for a patient to be in. This is the kind of chair that somebody needs and would benefit from if they're full-time in a chair. This is not for somebody in a broken leg, this is for somebody with a progressive neurological disorder. Right, and that's where you come in, is that you're here not just to supply the patient with the chair that they need, but to educate them in the process and like, hey, this is what makes us different. This is why you need uh, this particular feature. Um, and that's a huge thing that a lot of people, you know, they're caught up in their lives and they don't think of everything. Correct. It begins with the intake process. When you call our office, uh, one of the young ladies answers the phone. We'll get all that information from you. We will contact your doctor, access more medical records. I'll review them. And then when I meet with the patient, I'll have a bunch of questions and things we'll go over so that we can make sure that we're on the same page. We understand what their needs are, what their desires are, and then we conceptualize a custom wheelchair that will best meet their needs. Well, thank you for what you do in supplying such a great product and different products and making sure that people are getting exactly what they need. If people want to learn more about you, how can they? They can contact our office directly at 305-666-9911 or go on our website, dmrcorp.com. Well, Angel, thank you so much. Thank you. Stay close. When SoFlo Health returns, Morgan shows us some upper body stretches. We head to a restaurant helping make healthy food taste good and the top five foods for your health. Welcome back to SoFlo Health. I'm Hunter Frankie, and we're still at Murakami Japanese Museum and Gardens. It's an absolutely beautiful day, and this is a fairly famous entrance to their rock garden, which we're about to take a peek at, but all this walking around and exploring today has got me working up an appetite, so I think I'm gonna get something to eat first. Fortunately, we aren't too far away from Fresh Kitchen. It's a build your own bowl concept, so we walk you through our line. All of our uh, line servers have really good food knowledge. You can ask them any kind of question. You start off with your bases, where you choose you know, either a hot or a cold base to get for the bottom of your bowl. Then you'll pick either one or two vegetables and then one or two proteins. And then you can also get some add-ons or sauces to complement it. Everything that we uh, make uh, is pretty much in-house and with a lot of the same ingredients, so you can't really go wrong with any of your combinations. Everything really blends well together. Well, all of our food is gluten-free. Most of it is dairy-free unless indicated not so. And we also have a lot of vegan options. And then and we also, um, our menu indicates, you know, what is dairy-free, sugar-free, gluten-free, 
um, and then we can also answer that for you if, if someone lets us know when they start at the line. We never sacrifice the taste of the food for the quality of the food. Everything that we make uh, just happens to be super fresh and healthy at the same time as tasting really good. You can find us on most social media platforms. Our handle is Eat Fresh Kitchen or our website which is eatfreshkitchen.com. All right, how about this? What I love about places like this with the fast casual bowl food, and particularly here at Fresh Kitchen, is that you're able to customize your meal to your nutritional and taste needs. So in my case here, I'm kind of somebody that likes a little of everything. I'm not uh, a keto person, I'm not an all carbs person, I'm not a heavy protein person. I'm a, you know, let's split it in thirds. So I was able to do that here. I went a little bit lower on the carb side by getting half brown rice and half kale. Uh, but then I got some chickpeas, because I like that flavor. And then I balance that out with some healthy fat in the avocado and also some fat here on my chicken because of the almond crust that they were able to add. So that's a great option for people that love the taste of chicken tenders but don't want all of that fried um, bread on the outside. So you're able to get that in healthy fat instead with some almond. But we gotta see how it tastes first. All right, cut off a little piece there. Get a tomato on the end. Oh yeah. Wow. That's really good. Wait a second, you know, all this talking about food, I forgot, we have to get back to Murakami. Face yourself when you eat. Okay, I got one tomato left. Wow, that was good. I'll see you back at the garden. Oh, there's the garden. Huh, much better. Now, let's head inside. Now, this is my kind of rock garden. There seems to be something to do and see for people of all ages here. And speaking of all ages, it's never too late to start working out. SoFlo Seniors Strong is sponsored by Health Sun Health Plans. Is that about age 50, maybe 60, where people start to say, well, I'm just getting older now, and I guess this is how I live. This ache and pain is here to stay, and I'm just not as fit as I used to be. Well, on a previous SoFlo Seniors Strong, we introduced you to Edward Reichbach here at Gray Team, and he is 91 years old. He's able to push 360 pounds with his legs. He does pull-ups and everything else. So we hope that those excuses are gone. But in case you still need some guidance on how to begin, where to start, we spoke with his son, who is 60, by the way, Kerry Reichbach. So when you walk into a gym, it's kind of uh, intimidating. There's a lot of equipment that you may or may not know how to use. And the first thing you want to do is just turn around and go back out. But really, none of this is meaningful at all at your stage. So really, if you look at the weights, you know, you can start with something as small as, a, as five pounds. Anybody can use five pounds. That's an easy thing. With my father, who was 79, what I started him with was basically nothing more than a bench. And every gym that you go to will have a bench. You can tell a lot about a person and how fit they are by how they sit down and get up. And this is something that anyone can do without even a bench. You can do it in a chair. But if you watch, most older people will put a hand down in order to lower themselves down. And in order to get up, they'll either push or they'll actually push with both hands to stand up. And when a younger person does it, somebody who's 15, 16 years old, they're just gonna sit down and they can stand up without using any hands. So that's what we're gonna try to attain initially, is you can just literally put your feet about shoulder width apart and you're just gonna sit down and you're gonna get up. 
and it's that simple. SoFlow Senior Strong is sponsored by Health Sun Health Plans, Florida's only five-star plan four years in a row. Wait, wait, don't go away. When SoFlow Health returns, Morgan shows you some upper body stretches that are a game changer and the top five foods you need to add to your diet right away. Welcome back to SoFlow Health. I'm Hunter Frankie, and this is a Karasin Sui, which means dry garden. We're at Murakami Japanese Museum and Gardens after all, so here you're able to experience an ancient art of taking care of a garden, right? So if you think about it, it's kind of like the time we spent with our Tibetan monk friends when they made the sand mandala. They go through all this work to make everything perfectly manicured, only for it to not last very long. It's not about the outcome, it's about enjoying the process in a sort of meditative state. Now, check in with Morgan. Oh, had to somersault in for a second just because Morgan prefers that I somersault in. Absolutely. And we are socially distant. We are outside. It's hot, so we're going to take our very hot. mask off, toss them over to the side here. And we were spending the day at Murakami today, so we wanted to chill out a little bit. You know, Morgan likes to get all intense sometimes with the high intensity training, which we appreciate. But other times, she likes to slow it down, keep us chill. What are we doing today? Absolutely, there's many sides to Morganic and today we are going to focus on a nice little stretch. So for today's stretch, we are going to do the side bend, but I'm going to show you how you can do a side bend four different ways. So you okay. ready for the first one? Let's bend. Okay, we are starting off standing feet together, arms up and overhead, and we are just going to lengthen over to one side. So lift and lengthen, stretching the whole entire side. So now this is great to stretch the abdominal muscles, the muscles between the ribs, really work to increase the flexibility of the spine. What are you feeling? I feel it in my like lat okay. and like hip. Okay, bit. all right, the whole side. Yep. All right, coming back to center. So that's the first one, standing. It feels good. But now we're going to take it down to the mat. Okay. We're going to go into like a child's pose. So knees are going to be wide. Hands are out in front of you. And now you're going to walk over to one side. So if we walk over to the left, okay. I want you to stack your right hand on top of your left. And now think of shifting your weight into that right hip. And now again, we're stretching the whole entire right side. So now walking it over to the right, same thing. Good, sitting back in that left hip. And it really helps if you visualize those muscles stretching. Don't just like slouch down into the ground, really lengthening it. All right, back to the center. Moving to our third, we're now gonna be seated. So you can sit, cross the legs, whatever is comfortable for you. And we're going to have one arm out to the side and lengthen over to the left, stretching the whole entire side. Do you feel a difference in this one versus the others? Yeah, so this one is a little more on like the the back of the muscle okay. for me. Okay. Now, of course, switching it over to the other side. And left arm up and over. Good, and right back to center. Okay, we are doing our fourth and final one. This one, honestly, is my favorite. It's different for every person, depending on how you're feeling. So we're gonna go to straddle position. Okay. But now you're going to bring one leg in. So now from here, I want you to try to hook this hand under the calf. And now you're gonna lift this arm up and over. Really trying to reach. Okay, you can go so far over. over. To that toe, maybe you go, you do a nice little grab. Yeah, I can't do that. Your <laughs> but as you can see, it's all the same muscle group, so we are side bending just in a few different ways. So depending on what you're feeling, how you've worked out, what position's comfortable for you, you should not miss out on the side bend. It's a great exercise to do, but just play with different variations and feel which one's best for you, or if you're like us, try all four. Your body won't let you do things that it can't. Right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Morgan, thank you so much. We'll see you another time, and I'll see you back at Morikami. Yep, I feel better already. Well, we recently discovered that Harvard put together a study that came up with a list of the top five most nutritious foods. After studying hundreds of different foods, they came down with this surprisingly tasty all-star list that should pretty much be in anyone's diet, barring any allergic reactions, of course. So here they are. 
First on the list is salmon. This fish brings us protein and omega-3 fatty acids, which allow us to have a stronger brain and heart. And if you want to build something else up to be strong, then you can add that vitamin D from salmon to your bones, which builds strong bones. Next up, Brussels sprouts, a great source of antioxidants, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamins B3, 2, 6, 1, and 9, carotenes, and minerals as well. That's quite the list. Now, you'd be nuts to think that nuts wouldn't be on this list. It's one of the healthiest and most important foods for our body, assuming you're not allergic. In fact, the University of Oxford conducted 26 clinical trials that concluded that a healthy diet that includes nuts helps reduce cholesterol. And of course, they also add healthy fats and proteins and leave you feeling satiated for a great snack. Next on the list is yogurt, which has plenty of calcium, magnesium, healthy protein, and fats. But be careful of the sweetened versions, because they're more like candy than nutritious food. But luckily, they all have probiotics. back to SoFlow Health. I'm Hunter Frankie. We're still at Murakami Japanese Museum and Gardens, hence the bamboo. And before the break, we were giving you a list from Harvard of the top five foods that you should add to your diet for your health. And the final item on the list is, of course, blueberries. Blueberries are high in antioxidants. They have calcium. They're good for reducing inflammation, lowering your risk of cancer. They've got plenty of other electrolytes in them. And most importantly, they're delicious. So you can eat as many as you like, and you don't have to worry about it too much. Now, moderation, of course. Of course, it wouldn't be a Japanese garden without some bamboo. There's something peaceful about listening to the slow creaking of the bamboo in the wind as it blows through this beautiful part of the gardens. That's it for this week's episode of SoFlow Health. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to Murakami Japanese Museum and Gardens for having us here today. It is an absolutely beautiful place, and there's really not many places like it in the world, and we're lucky enough to have it here in South Florida for just a bit of a drive if you're in the Miami-Fort Lauderdale area. Now, as always, you can watch previous episodes of SoFlow Health on SoFlowHealth.com. You can follow us using at SoFlowHealth to share with us what you're doing to stay healthy. This is normally the part where I say, until next week, it's goodbye and good health. Well, we are going to be off the air for just a few weeks as the NBA Finals takes place and the Formula One races are underway. But we'll be back on June 13th at the usual time, same place right here on Local 10 at 12.30. So I look forward to seeing you then. And until that time, it's goodbye and good health.